Hey, what's up guys? Back again with another video. This episode we're going to be learning about um, the second way to um, use synchronized uh, methods or objects in Java, or basically how to use the synchronized keyword. And um, yeah, so last episode we just, um, we learned how to do it with methods directly just by adding the synchronized keyword in front of the, you know, the, the method, of course. But this time we can basically, um, I, I couldn't find too much information on it. I mean, I know how to do it, but like, you know, explaining it is a different matter. Um, basically what you can do with this, um, let's say you have two classes, right? Or no, yeah, two classes like we have here, or yeah, yeah, we have here, right? Let's say we cannot edit this one. So we, we aren't able to basically just, you know, add the synchronized keyword here. We can't do that because it's provided, it's like private or something. Let's say we can't edit it for some any reason, okay? And we're using it as like an API from another another developer. So the point is we can't access it. So what we can do is maybe access ours, this one right here, and then we can basically lock the whole object from running at the same time. So we're making different here, we're making different objects of this of this class here. So we can lock the object so only one of them can run at a time. So the way we can do that is by using it using synchronized as a block of code by doing synchronized. And then the parameter it takes is the uh, the object. So you could just say like this. Or actually, um, it would be, I believe this and target would work, but let's try this first. And then inside of that would go your, your code. And then uh, basically that um, puts it in a monitor, I guess you could call it. And that will lock um, this one from running at the same time as this one. So let's go ahead and run this and see what happens. Okay, so it doesn't quite work. So I guess you do have to have um, target as the... Uh, object reference uh, right here, this one. So I guess that's because we're calling target dot sin. So I mean, I guess that makes sense. And then, yeah. So whatever. So yeah, um, what we did, you know, we just use it as a block of code, and then anything inside the block of code can, um, can only be run one at a time, basically. Um, so I mean, there's not too much I could tell you about it, but I'd play around with that if you want to. But just mainly, you would probably use it in front of, for like we did last episode, where you put the synchronized keyword in front of the method. So anyway, um, I know this episode was short, but uh, yep, that's all I got. So if you liked it, leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe, and peace.